Okay, so let's just remind ourselves where we had left off. We were talking about Mark McGuire in 1998, and he had 70 home runs that year out of 509 times at bat. And the question was, was that something surprising for us? I mean, obviously it was a record, and people were surprised to see someone get that many home runs in a season, but was it surprising for Mark McGuire? So in order to answer that, we realized, or we figured out, that we kind of assumed that this is a binomial distribution. And we ran into kind of a problem right away because we said we wanted the probability that x was greater or equal to 70, which in the binomial distribution what we're saying is that he got 70 or more home runs out of 509 times at bat. And when we looked at it, we realized we had to add all these different cases, which would mean quite a bit of computation. Now, luckily for us, our TI-84, we have a binomial CDF uh, function, and it can do things for us, and we described how to do that. We ended up with a probability of 7.6%. So let's talk about interpreting that 7.6%. What this is saying is that if Mark McGuire's um, home run average at when he goes to plate is 11.6%, or 0.116, and he goes to bat 509 times, the probability he gets 70 or more home runs is 7.6%. That's a pretty small probability. It's not as small as 5%, which is usually like the standard we go for. But that's small enough for us to say we observe something that's really uh, pretty rare. And maybe it is surprising that he did as well as he did in that season. OK. But back to this. Uh, how to compute this probability and talk about something practical. Without a calculator, it would certainly be um, quite a bit of work to try and calculate an expression like this and then do it again for 71 and 72 all the way up to 509. Uh, it would be pretty much impossible. So a popular thing to do is use the following fact, that if n times p is greater or equal to 10 and n times 1 minus p is greater or equal to 10, then a binomial distribution with parameters n and p is approximately uh, or approximated well by a normal distribution with parameters n times p and square root of n p 1 minus p. Just reminding you that this is the mean of x and that's the standard deviation of x. Those are the formulas from a binomial distribution. Well, in our case, uh, n times p was 59.044. That's certainly greater than or equal to 10. And then n times 1 minus p would be the rest of the, of the kids. So that's going to be about, uh, it's going to be about 449, 450, which is certainly greater than 10. So our rule, this thing is often referred to as our rule of thumb. And it's satisfied. So that means that we can go ahead and use this approximation. So let's show how you would do that. Okay, n times p, we already said, is 59.044. Standard deviation you would get by doing um, the square root of 509 times 0.116 times 1 minus 0.116, and you would get an answer of about 7.225. So now we can go ahead and rewrite our probability. Our probability we're interested in is probably x is greater than or equal to 70, but we can think of that as the probability that z is greater than or equal to um, 70 minus 59.044 over 7.225, which is the probability that z is greater than or equal to uh, 1.516. All right, so in terms of an area, here's what it looks like. Here's our normal distribution. We have our mean of 59.044 in the middle, and we know that we're a full 1.5 standard deviations above the mean, and we would like the area above that to get our desired probability. Okay, well, our calculator has a normal CDF, but let's go use that. So here we are, it's clear. We do second distributions, normal CDF, and normal CDF requires a lower bound first. Okay, so in our case, it's 1.516. And an upper bound, which is just some huge number. Sometimes people use 1E99, I just put in something big like this. All right, and if we're using a uh, standard normal distribution, which we are here because we're dealing with z-scores, 
you do comma zero for the mean and comma one for the standard deviation. Actually, you could even leave it off and it would, it wouldn't, it would still work. You hit enter here, and here's the area. So you get about 6.5 percent. So this area is about 6.5 percent, which is pretty close to 7.6 percent, <coughs> not an exact match. It still supports <coughs> what we said before. Mark McGuire's uh, 70 home runs out of 509 um, doesn't occur often. This is a low percentage. So um, that leads us to believe that he had somewhat of a surprising year. Okay, that's how you can use the normal approximation to the binomial distribution to answer probability questions. Thanks for watching.